What's up there, YouTube? My name is Alex, also known as Inch95, and I'm bored here right now, and I feel like bringing you guys just a random couple, like, five or six test hands just for fun. I'm probably not going to really play them through or anything. Uh, I've probably started filming this video, like, 12 times already, and I just end up making it too long, and uh, this is just for fun right now. I feel like doing some pen some test hands with my, like, Dark Pendulum deck. There's probably like, a lot of different versions that people are trying out. Obviously, it's not one of the best decks right now, but I really just like the aspect of, you know, having stuff like Pendulum Rising and... Armageddon's and still being able to run Decision and Instant Fusions. Obviously, Face Off going to one hurt and Ignister going to one hurt. But uh, Pendulum Sorcerer is still a really strong card, and uh, I think this deck still has potential in the future. Obviously, I don't really like. I'm not a huge fan of like the trap variants with like strikes and whatnot. I mean, it'd probably be best in the side deck in my opinion right now, especially if people are going to be making you go. Um, if, if people want you to go second once they know you're running that stuff, because you know traps really just suck drawing them going second. Like that's that's like a huge um, condition of you winning. Like, see, like, even drawing this, like, one of the things that I didn't mention was Allure. I think Allure is a really cool thing about this deck because you have a lot of Darkseid guided. I run the second Silver Claw in this case. Obviously, I would go Upstart first. Uh, you get Allure here, draw two. Soul Charge is really strong. I really like that. And you drew the Summoner Monk. Now, Summoner Monk is really, really good um, in this deck because it gets you Armageddon Knight and it gets you really anything else, but it most importantly gets you Pendulum Sorcerer. So like in this case, I can either save this for like the comeback card, or I can, if I'm gonna do like my normal summon plays with this, I can, oops, I can get out uh, like the whole monkey board loop or whatever, not the loop, but um, just like to play with these guys and then pendulum all the you know whatever guys out, and then I'll also have sorcerer off of him by discarding this. So I don't necessarily need to get, um, I don't necessarily need to search for this. Uh, in this case, it'd probably be pretty advantageous to search for any low scale because you have this. And uh, this you'd probably just keep for the following turn, unless you wanted to pop it with Sorcerer. But um, I'll probably do like four or five more hands, if anything. Just uh, like I said, I'm not really going to play them through, but I, I just like a lot of the fasts about this deck. Um, as far as like the meta shifting right now, I thought it'd be cool to talk about Co uh, Cosmos and a lot of the new support they got. I think all of it is just very, very bad, except the uh, except the Dolka card. I forget. I don't know that what the English name is yet. I think it's not not Walker, not the Cosmo Walker guy, but the other one. It's like a witch. It's just like a. It looks like kind of like a witch, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I think it's I think it's pretty good. Like I mean, it's a freaking Dolka for the deck, and I think that'll really just make the deck so much stronger than it already is. And if if Konami keeps the deck uh, in that way, like in that light, uh, it's gonna be very problematic in my opinion moving into Nationals format. Simply because like once Nationals format hits, that's really like the thing that matters the most, obviously. And um, a lot of people don't really realize that. Like that's the most important like format in in terms of just everything. Um, you can pendulum these, you can pop your guys if you wanted to. Um, like, there's a lot of shit you can do with this. You could probably end up with a pretty decent board. You obviously don't have Slayer there, um, which I really like being able to get Draco Slayer with Pendulum Rising. That is a huge uh, upside to this. But um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Konami's going to give us another list uh, before the World Championship Qualifier format? Um, I, I don't think they are because right now a lot of the other uh, countries are starting to hold their uh, Nash. Uh, their world championship qualifiers. I was about to call them North American World Championship qualifiers, but other countries aren't necessarily in North America. So, uh, yeah, uh, this hand is kind of doo doo, but it's not bad. Like Armageddon's like average here. Like you can obviously one of the cool things, like I said, being able to do with him is you can actually dump like either Zephyros or even Summoner Monk if you have something like Soul Charge in your hand is pretty cool. Um, dumping Zephyros is just the tits when you have monkey board plays going on. In this case, it probably wouldn't be that great um, across the board just because you don't have too many things going on here. You probably end up with like a decent board, but you don't really have too many interactions. Like you have a Master Pendulum and a Lizard, but drawing this really sucks along with this. Like this really hurt your hand here, drawing these guys more so than anything else. But uh, yeah, that's an average shitty hand for the most part. I really like drawing the uh, the Risings with um, with like Decision and Instant Fusion. Like that is just really like... I think there was a hand that I had a couple days ago that I was when I was like first like toying around with this deck. Um, I think I ended up with like a board of like the Hope Harbinger guy. I ended up with like a Rafflesia, a Dynaster, a Majester, and like I think I either had like a set Bottomless or a set Treacherous with the Rafflesia on the field. So like I had the secondary trap and I had Monkey Board back in my hand. So it was a really strong hand. Like this hand's pretty good too as well. Uh, like I said, being able to do this. Um, in most cases, like, I would usually dump the Zephyrus first because I don't want to draw it. Um, and then you can allure this away, obviously, depending on what you have. Uh, or you can even, uh, like, once you Zephyros, bring whatever back, add this back to hand, you can allure this away, which isn't terrible if you don't have anything. 
Uh, but you can also dump the uh, Summoner Monk, and then you can bring it back with like Soul Charge if I had that. I don't obviously have Soul Charge in this hand, um, but I think you could probably still come up with a couple things here with this hand. You can also realistically you can instant fusion this to get um, like get out Norden here. Uh, you can make this into a uh, if you really wanted to like theoretically like this probably isn't the best like line of play, but like you could detach this, get a uh, a Lizard draw here. Just because you have the secondary high scale. And then here you could allure. Get these guys. Use your monkey board because you're a savage. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's a lot of cool things. I'd probably keep this because it's the low scale, if I'm not mistaken. It's the only low scale, right? Yeah, so like here, like it doesn't really matter what you hit. I mean, you have these guys and you have this as a follow-up with your turtle. So uh, being able to bounce back the monkey board and then just have the guitar turtle lizard play after you use sorcerer can really end you in a strong board. Like, even in this case, like, see, I don't even have the, uh, any of the Draco stuff. It's still, it's still really strong because you can end with pretty extensive boards. Like, being able to put, um, like, any, any board with this isn't that great just because you're using it to go, uh, make something. But, like, really just ending with, like, that and, um, what is it? The, uh, Reflecia is still decent. Obviously, Reflecia isn't that great right now. I know they're getting another trap card. I forget what the new trap card is for Konami that they're releasing for Reflecia. I think it's, like, when you attack. Uh, when your opponent's monster attacks, you can, like, dump it from your deck with Rafflesia, and then, like, it destroys it. And then they take, like, half the damage. If I'm not mistaken, it's something kind of... It's, it's something short of a Ring of Destruction. Uh, something along those lines. Oh, uh, this is a pretty strong hand, too. Like, you have Rabbit and Monk, and being able to pendulum these guys out is just insane. Like, I really like hands like this. In this case, I would... Huh. This is a hard one, because, like... Normally, I'd like to see more spells for the Monk. And then this, obviously, is going to get your two Slayers, but, like... Ooh, this is kind of a... Oh, let me toy around with this. Because this deck, like, it feels like Combo City in some cases. Like, this is a pretty strong hand here. I don't know what you guys would do. Um, like I said, you're obviously... Let's just say you don't know what you're... Like, if you're going second, you'd probably have this in your hand. Um, or this would be really good if you already had this. But let's say we're going first. You don't know what you're going to draw with this. So you're probably not going to get full, full value out of your monks. So you probably have to keep for the this for this. But then you could... Realistically, and you have a high scale, so you could get a, a low scale, whatever low scale you wanted here, or you could just get straight into this. Um, you could actually, yeah, like realistically, you just go this into whatever other high scale you wanted. Like, let's say this here. Let's say you got your silver claw hypothetically, right? You put these in the zones, and let's say you pendulumed out these guys. Uh, let's say you did rabbit, rabbit got you players um use monk's effect discarding allure to get pendulum sorcerer uh, pendulum sorcerer effect popping the um the guys normally i'd like to like keep monkey board for like uh for what's his face for armageddon zephyrus but like here you can just do that you can get this plus turtle like there's there's some pretty bonkers plays that this deck can do Obviously, having the monk be a regular monster kind of sucks because you'll have to use it for, like, Rafflesia or whatever else. Um, and you won't be able to use it for, like, Dynastar or Ignister or any of those guys. But it's not terrible. Like, here, let's see, because we're obviously going to end up drawing two. We drew, oh, we drew Pendulum Rising off the first one. So, uh, you can actually, this is really strong. See, you can tribute the monk. You can get this, because obviously, if you don't know what Pendulum Rising does, uh, you can probably read it there. Basically, it's just a send a monster you control to the grave, special summon one monster. Uh, one pendulum monster, pendulum monster with the same level as that sent monster's original level, but destroyed during then phase. So, uh, pendulum rising is really strong in that case because like you can fix boards like this that would normally just have monk on the board and really don't allow you to do much. Because now we can obviously get the third Draco Slayer after this. I don't like using Ignister early on, but if you're in such a strong position like this, uh, you know, being able to, I probably wouldn't do that first here just because you don't want to draw the Draco Slayer. But um, well. I guess it varies. Like like I said, I usually don't like using Ignister early on, but getting that is really important. Uh, you can see this card a lot faster due to Monk and Pendulum Rising, which is something that the previous version didn't have ac like wasn't able to do uh, outside of the extra face-offs. And face-off obviously going to one really hurt this deck, but I think you can make some pretty bonkers boards with this. So let me know what you guys think. This is obviously just kind of a all over the place video. Um, obviously this isn't like the best deck. If you guys are interested in maybe seeing like a deck profile of this, I guess I could do one. It's really nothing special. I don't really like, I know a lot of people like running maxis and stuff, uh, main deck. I'd probably side them. I'm not a huge fan of main deck maxis, even though BA and PK fires a lot, like everywhere in a lot of cases, but it really just varies. Um, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably give you guys like a solid deck profile of this in the, in the near future, maybe tomorrow in the next couple days. 
Tomorrow is Sunday, so it's probably gonna be a uh, probably gonna be DBZ day, so Dragon Ball Super Day. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this little just goofy kind of video. It's, I know it's all over the place, but um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it. Please drop a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you guys would be interested in seeing a deck profile again, drop a like or comment down below to let me know. Um, and yeah, I'd be glad to share this uh, Dark Pendulum Dot deck with you guys. I think it's pretty cool and it's pretty fun to play as well. Um, I don't really like any of the other decks right now that are out. Uh, maybe the next set Shiv is going to change everything and uh, hopefully, it, not everything, but hopefully it changes some stuff uh, and Cosmos isn't the best deck, hopefully. <laughs> That'd really suck, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Peace out, you guys. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Inch95 if you guys already don't and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little goofy kind of uh, test draw hand dot video. I, I didn't really play out any of the hands. I just wanted to just really just talk about this deck and just talk about uh, nonsense in general, so... Yeah, if you guys enjoy these little things, let me know. I'd be glad to do them in the future and maybe stream if I have some time. Uh, I really just want to relax a little bit this weekend. So, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.